Hi, I'm Mark Ramsey from Mark Ramsey Media, and I want to talk to you today about names. What's in a name? Is a name important? Should I worry about the name for my radio station or my brand? How decisive is this kind of thing? How critical to my success is it? Well, I'm going to tell you it's very critical. Did you know, for example, that prior to the Teddy Roosevelt administration, the White House was called the Executive Mansion? The name White House, it hadn't been invented until Teddy Roosevelt, and that was only 100 years ago. Think about how powerful that image is in our minds today, how critical that name is, the White House. The name of your radio station and your brand is just as important. And I want to give you a few name, naming rules that you can use as you figure out what you should call stuff in case you go through a format change, a new brand, whatever. What rules of thumb should you use? I want to give you a couple. Here's the first one. Avoid a common name, okay? Unless you have a common product, don't use a common name. There's a tendency to look for the common name, the mixes and the rivers and so on and so forth. These, the more common the name, the more common the association with the product. Now more than ever, you've got to pick something that stands out. Two, it's a name, not a description. The purpose of the name is to not to elucidate what you do. You don't go to Starbucks looking for a place called coffee. Okay? You don't go to McDonald's looking for a place called burger. A name is not a description. Third, oddness works. Being a little bit weird works. It's okay to make yourself uncomfortable. In fact, it's better to make yourself uncomfortable. If you go around a room to take a vote on what a name should be for a brand, which, by the way, you should never do, be leery if you're settling on a name that everyone agrees on. The minute everybody agrees on it, believe me, you're in trouble, okay? It should be a little bit weird, a little bit out of the ordinary, because that's what generates attention. Fourth, look for an evocative name, an interesting name, one that evokes feelings or one that has like sensory impact associated with it. Yahoo, Google, Red Hot Chili Peppers. These are the kinds of names that evoke something else. And that imagery can come to bear for your product and halo around your product and give you a chance to kickstart your brand without investing huge, huge sums of money in marketing.